Hi, welcome to I'm JP to this YouTube channel. If you if haven't you subscribe my YouTube channel, please subscribe, like the video, watch the video, and share this video to all your friends and family. And call, please comment about this video in this uh, section comment below. So today I want to make new video how to install the Windows 11 on this Dell Postro 1400 all you need is if you want to make if you want to install the Windows 11 on this very old laptop all you need is one thumb drive USB thumb drive minimum storage is minimum thumb drive is 8 gig or more than that so right here I have 16 GB I think yeah you can see okay. Okay. right just now I right now you can see I have the thumb drive is 60 GB all all what you need is one thumb drive minimum 8 gig or six or higher than that the capacity for the thumb drive and you need the windows 11 iso but i can show how to download the iso but right now i can show you how to install the windows 11 on this dell vostro 1400 all this one usb thumb drive already make multiple drive then you connect the pen drive into your in this, in this laptop or your PC just like this you can see and then open your laptop or, yes open your laptop this is the Dell Mosro 1400 you can see okay so right now I open this is the power button this is the home key button I, I think so this is the LED LED light I think so this is the the button for the features for this laptop I don't know what kind of for this, uh, features for this laptop so right now I turn on the laptop Make, now I go to the BIOS the laptop BIOS right now you can see After you press F2 the BIOS on this laptop, it will take a while to loading to loading the BIOS to entering the BIOS for this laptop. I'm not sure this laptop using what processor. I think Intel Core 2 Duo. The socket is 47. 478 mobile so uh, mobile processor I think so and for the RAM is a uh, 4 gig the original RAM for this laptop is 2 gig DDR2 667 only but I already upgrade 2 gig times 2 equal to 4 gigabyte not sure the speed is 67 or 800 I'm not sure but I know you can see on the screen this this will take a while Okay. Right now, this laptop, uh, this 
video oh, right now you, what you can see is dekat dekat video ni yang kurang nampak dekat screen laptop ni yang bagi tahu lah warning ha, warning AC adapter so guna 65 watt AC adapter operator for best system format so nak macam ni abaikan dekat F2 terus ok ini adalah BIOS ataupun this is the Dell Vostro 1400 BIOS ok in this BIOS what you can see for the setting for the portable for ISO is like this you go to the disk <coughs> now you can see this is a processor Intel Core 2 Duo I'm not sure what model is it ok this is a processor spec I think this is the memory just moment guys I tell you I already added one uh, 2 gig one stick of RAM I mean the default RAM is 2 gig but I, add, I added another uh, single stick of RAM 2 gig also make a 4 gig in dual channel right now you can see the dual channel configuration okay and this effect using the IDE IDE is HDD only okay sorry okay. okay go to the boot sequence okay like this here you can see go to the boot sequence but if what the internal this internal HDD is first one so I already make up the USB storage so if you put in in the boot sequence select USB storage device only then you save then you save and exit and you can exit the BIOS right now exit I exit the BIOS now I enter the bootable from the, the pen drive you can see right now I push I, I press the Y Y Y button the letter Y keyboard button here right now you can see on the screen and that is this laptop portable from this USB drive so right now you can see this this will take a while so right now you can see right now it's portable okay don't pick out don't panic this be relaxed Okay, this is a Windows setup. This is called Windows setup for full clean format any laptop or PC. Okay, you can see here Windows setup. Here our language. Here is the time and currency format. That's all the language. For myself, is English, United States. But for for current time and currency format, I choose English Malaysia, just like this. You can see here. Oh. And now you can see I select the English Malaysia. So. I click next. Maksudnya lepas lepas tuan-tuan yang -tuan buat dah ikut arahan yang tadi video yang kejap ni sebelum nak video setup apa yang tadi saya cakap tadi tu. Okey, lepas you dah cucuk USB ni, you dah masuk BIOS dekat boot sequence tu. Nanti bila dekat screen nanti I1 lepas you exit ni, nanti dia so please press any key to boot device. Ha, maksudnya macam tadi tu dekat screen dekat video ni dah tunjuk tadi tu saya tekan keyboard itu one untuk dia masuk ke video setup kita loading pakai pen drive yang ni so apa yang saya perlu buat ini adalah video setup pilihan bahasa untuk di install 
mas uh, masa dan country korang format currency maksudnya uh, time English Malaysia so saya saya duduk Malaysia so untuk keyboard dia keyboard or input method US so uh, saya saya format macam ni ya no hal lepas tu saya tekan next tengok jadi saya tekan next kat sini saya tekan next lepas okay. saya tekan next maksudnya dia dah apply saya tinggal dulu dia tekan install moment ago what you see in on the screen in this video you select language to install type and currency and then input the keyboard right so just like for me English is the language English Malaysia is for the country my country and for the keyboard input is US after you set apply then in then here click install now lepas you dah tadi setting situ ok you click you tekan install now ok lepas you dah tekan install now kat sini dia akan keluar tunjuk setup is starting after you click install now on the screen moment ago just now you saw click install now and then and then the computer will take time to reading the this uh, to format this this letter take time i'm not sure how long but okay hi guys so here's the listing of the all the edition for the windows 11 right now you can see windows 11 home windows 11 home and windows home the single language windows education windows education and windows 10 windows 11 pro and windows 11 pro and windows 11 pro education education and workstation pro and for workstation so if i were you i selected the windows 11 pro okay i selected the windows 11 pro right here okay ni adalah uh, senarai uh, senarai os windows 11 saya tekan next eh. okay, saya space sekali lagi lah. okay. ini adalah listing senarai uh, OS minus 11 home sampai ke 11 pro and forward station bagi pendapat saya saya guna minus 11 pro ok saya guna minus 11 pro pro saja. Okay. Saya pilih Windows 11 Pro Saya tekan next Bila saya tekan next ni okay. Apa yang dekat screen ni You akan nampak okay, Saya dah apply Windows 11 Pro and right uh, Windows 11 No Windows 11 sorry okay. Maksudnya Lepas macam saya Saya select I will select Windows 11 Pro to get some new features or pro features ok so I, I, I tick I choose the 11 pro and then tick then press the next part, next button ok accept the agreement here ok press next then custom ok in here you can see I delete all this partition Okay. I deleted all this partition with any problem. Deleted. Yes, this I deleted also. Okay. After you deleted all the partition, previous partition in this uh, in this in this laptop, click press click new. I mean after you delete uh, two partition moment ago, then you press create new partition. Apply. Don't change your volume of of your storage ataupun lepas tadi you dah delete dua partition yang sebelum ni punya 
Pada dah delete semua tu Kini you punya storage tu kosong Tak ada OS So Lepas you dah kosongkan tu Dah delete tadi tu Tekan Tekan new New volume Apply tak, Jangan Jangan Setuah apa-apa Jangan setting apa-apa Yang ni okay. You baca arahan ni Then You In English You need to Read this And then After you reading this You press Ok Kalau you dah baca ni You tekan Ok Ok Once you Once Once you click ok Then It will Create new volume Just like this You can see Ok after After You can see On the screen Here This two Don't Touch uh, Don't touch Again After the windows is make a volume Then press next Like this So press next So your PC Or I mean For this laptop If the windows 11 will install in this storage I mean on this HDD You can see So This will take a while
The Windows platform start uh, the setup menu.
this will this will this will take a while please do it setup but the new setup then previous uh, version of the windows is a windows 10 is different but it's a different setup right now on the screen you can see I need to select Malaysia Select your country just like me. I'm I'm from Malaysia. So I click Malaysia and then click next. Maksudnya ni pilih negara kurang. Okay, negara kurang. So tekan J. Seterusnya. Okay. Kat sini kau akan nampak. Dia tengah pusing, 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 loading. Kat screen ni kan loading loading loading. Click yes Then Perlukan second keyboard Layout Tak perlu Tak perlu tekan skip This will This will take a while Sekiranya Sekiranya uh, If If your laptop Using the Connection wireless Then select your Network connectivity Okay Then If you are If you are on PC If you are using the Internet So It will direct the, To the Next Next step Because this laptop Don't have any wireless wireless driver so I click I don't have internet I translate in Malay dekat sini dia minta rakaian internet so kini kalau laptop korang semua guna connection wireless sila sambungkan internet korang uh, internet uh, internet rumah masing-masing ataupun internet office at least korang kena online bila korang dah online 
dekat bawa ada dia akan bawa dia ke page lain ataupun step lain nak page lain macam step lain macam sini dekat sekarang ni nampak saya tekan i don't have internet lah so i select i don't have internet so in this screen shows connect now to to quickly get started on your on your device so i click here Continue with limited setup only. Okay, I choose that. Maksudnya yang tadi dekat screen kejap ni, sebab saya tekan continue limited uh, setup. Maksudnya ialah ni dia akan sekarang ni dia akan pusing. Just a moment. Lepas tu dia akan restart. Kata korang, maksudnya ni dia akan restart ke offline kau. Maksudnya ni korang takkan guna uh, online kau Ini macam saya, saya guna offline kau Sebab laptop ni tak ada wireless driver kan Ini tak ada wireless driver so Susah lah Tapi don't worry sebab saya ada network adapter So yang tu korang tak perlu risau okay. Or I have this okay, I have this This is called US Astash Wireless N USB 2.0 With a speed 100mbps or 150mbps So I don't know for this model, for this pack But I can but this thing is work, working working fine so i put this i put this thing connected in here the port right here okay, let's see wait see. and now you can see i put the usb port here so right now i already put the usb the wireless and USB 2.0 adapter on this laptop so I can connect that to the online Hi, welcome to MJ Petrini's YouTube channel if you if haven't you subscribe my YouTube channel please subscribe like the video watch the video and share this video to all your fan family and call please comment about this video in this uh, section comment below so today i want to make a new video how to install the windows